Hello everyone, my name is Berta and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making a sim based off of the zodiac sign Capricorn. If you are new here and you like my videos, please hit that subscribe button. It has been a while since I did my previous video in this zodiac series. I have already made a sim based off the zodiac sign Taurus. I will link it in the upper right corner and in the description, so check it out if you want to see that one. I decided to go with Capricorn today because now is the time of the Capricorns if you were born between the 22nd of December and the 20th of January, you are a Capricorn. The things I will be telling about Capricorn in this video are based off of the book The Secret Language of Birthdays by Gary Goldschneider. If you're into astrology, I think this is a really fun book to have, so go check it out if you want to. Anyway, what this book says about Capricorns is that they are generally quite frugal, careful and responsible people who value free will and assertiveness. They are very ambitious and strive to reach the top of whatever they're doing, which is also the reason why I gave her the ambitious trait. And to get to the top, they work very slowly and carefully, which is why I gave her the perfectionist trait. Her name is Harry Potter, by the way, and I was thinking of names for her and the glasses reminded me of Harry Potter, so hence the last name. And then for her first name, I thought it would be nice to have it start with the letter C from Capricorn. And Carrie came to mind and I seriously didn't realize that Harry Potter rhymes with Harry Potter until I started editing this video. So yeah, her name is Carrie Potter. I thought that was quite funny. Anyway, Capricorns are generally responsible, serious, and can be conservative. I wanted to represent the seriousness by trying to give her a serious facial expression. I hope I succeeded because it was quite hard to do. During this video you'll see me going back and forth with the hairs and bottoms. Um, but for the hair I eventually ended up giving her the hair that I started with in the first place. <laughs> so I, I was very indecisive, I didn't really know what to do with her hair and her bottoms. I also gave this sim the gloomy trait because Capricorns have this sense of fatality. They accept that difficulties are part of life and that, and they accept the role they fulfill in life, which sometimes make them too inflexible to change when necessary. They also have this instinctive sense of power. I couldn't really decide what aspiration to give this sim, but I ended up giving her the leader of the pack aspiration. Now, this isn't very intuitive, so I, th I chose this leader of the pack aspiration because if you're a leader of a club, you definitely hold some power and Capricorns are very good in using that power. Does that make any sense? Either way, the colors associated with the sign Capricorn are all shades of brown and orange. So I tried to incorporate the color brown into her outfit, but it didn't really look good when her top and bottom were brown. So I ended up giving her a denim skirt. But you guys, I never style denim skirts. <laughs> so I hope this doesn't look terrible because I didn't really know if it looked good actually or not. But oh well, I, I used to wear denim skirts a lot when I was a kid, but now I don't anymore. I, I don't feel comfortable wearing them, but when I see other people wear them, it looks cool. Anyway, for the eyeshadow, I wanted to give her a light and warm shade of brown that, you know, didn't look too heavy or dark because it wouldn't look too good with the glosses, I think. But apparently I don't have an eyeshadow like that in the game. So if you have an eyeshadow like that, please let me know where I can get it because I need it. So now that we have talked about Capricorns and zodiac signs and all that stuff. I just wanted to say that I'm very grateful for all of you that are still watching. I really hope that you like the sims that I make. I do realize that I've been doing a lot of cast videos lately and not so much other videos. I have started a let's play a long time ago when I started my um, channel basically and I would love to know from you guys, do you want me to continue those? Because I am not really sure if I should, because not many people seem to be watching those, but if you guys really like it, then maybe I will continue it. 
I have a island living let's play going on and I have started the asylum challenge which I'm actually still very excited for but I'm thinking of streaming as well it looks like a very fun thing to do and I've been watching a lot of streamers lately and it's so fun so much fun to have this interaction with you guys so yeah I've been thinking of streaming and I think that let's plays and challenges and stuff would be better for me to do when streaming and not on the channel don't ask me why I just feel that way <laughs> but I am afraid I am not gonna have the time to stream for a while now because university is crazy please save me you guys these deadlines and all this stuff that I have to do uh, it's just so much so yeah I'm afraid I won't be able to stream soon and I'm not sure if I should stream on twitch or mixer either so please let me know in the comments down below if you have a preference as for now, we are almost at the end of the video, so I just wanted to tell you guys that there is a CC list. I will link it down below in the description, so go download all this stuff if you want to. Also, leave a comment down below and tell me if you think that this sim represents Capricorn well or not, because I would love to know how you guys think I did. And also, is there a particular zodiac sign that you want to see me do next? Because I can just go to the next one, but if you have a particular one you want to see, let me know and I'll do that one. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of my content. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!